Hello friends, welcome to IntelliGear. Uh, today we're out in the uh, common area. We have our loyal assistant Gunny Dog. Yeah. So he's um, going to be making a little bit of noise in the background. But pay no attention to the dog behind the curtain. So today I just wanted to share with you my philosophy on batteries. So whenever I buy gear, I try to get um, gear that is going to use the same type of battery and um, I decided on the double A as my my common um, battery of choice and there's a couple different reasons I'll get into that a little later but as you can see here in front of you there's different equipment flashlights radios ham radios um, and walkie talkies things like that and they can either run off of double A or they run off of double A. And what I mean by they can run off of double A is for example that silver flashlight it actually takes D batteries but with the help of a um, adapter it can run off of double A. So here's some examples of uh, adapters. So you just slide the double A you see those uh, you got D and C size there in front of you. You slide the double A inside the spacer and then you can use it in a D uh, battery application or a C battery application as you can see next to the the D ones there um, <clears throat> So the reason that I chose to go with Double A's is it seems like the type of equipment that the, the choices you have of things you can carry um, Are you know a lot of them are made with double A's so you know I bought a bunch of rechargeables. I'm a big fan of these Antelope batteries and um, you know you can use those on a daily basis. It's good for your pocketbook and it's good for the environment because you're not always throwing out batteries. But you still want to have some backup batteries so I just I don't really get into the name brand stuff too much um, for my bulk batteries you know just that those are um, let's see those are Kirkland uh, Kirkland brand batteries there. I, I got those. I picked those up at Costco and then you know just some Rayovax and and um, lithium double A's. Uh, I only use those in the high power applications like um, you know well it used to be a camera and now the camera I have now it's it's got a battery pack but you know like my um, my LD20 my Phoenix um, I use that in the um, the Phoenix when I'm not using the inner loops and those also seem to work better and when it's really cold uh, you know every kind of battery is going to have a diminished capacity in the cold but the uh, the lithiums they they work better than the alkalines so but you know that being said there are some applications where I don't need to have lithiums all the time for example this uh, ham radio down here it has um, a battery pack that you plug into the wall or plug into your car to charge it but if those power sources aren't available they sell an accessory battery tray here and the instructions explicitly say to use alkaline so I would use alkaline in that situation um, you know like my Coleman lantern over here there's a review coming on that by the way I use alkalines for that and then um, my uh, shortwave radio receiver my Grundig here it takes three double A's so and you can just use alkalines so you don't always have to use an expensive battery but anyways so yeah that's that's why I picked the double A because it has the uh, the, the most electronics compatibility interoperability if you will and then um, I thought I'd just touch a little bit on storage how I normally store my batteries so you can see here I've got these inner loops and these little these little trays it's important that you uh, understand how to store your batteries you know if you're gonna if you're not gonna buy a bunch of these little containers to put them in they are pricey there's another way to store your batteries other than the uh, the original packaging like here sorry for the jerky camera there um, you know that's a little bulky so you can um, you can just put them in like a bag so I found these bags over here and um, I, I found this particular brand at Walmart and you just um, they're like heavy canvas uh, what you need to do if you're just going to store your batteries in a bag loosely is you need to take some electric tape 
or some kind of good tape and tape over one end of the battery. That way they don't accidentally touch together and complete a circuit and short out. Um, that's kind of dangerous, you know, when a battery shorts out, it overheats, it possibly could explode. At the very least, it's just going to drain your batteries and then when you go to use them, they're going to be no good. Uh, speaking of battery drain, you know, <coughs> excuse me, make sure that you know what the expiration dates on your batteries are and if it's um, emergency batteries essential for your uh, operations in a no power situation, make sure that you have a reminder on your calendar or somehow remind yourself that six months before they go dead you replace them and then use those for your daily usage. The ones you replace that are about to expire, use those up first. Just like you would with canned food. Um, you put the newest uh, date or the, the freshest can in the back of the, you know, the shelf and you use the oldest one up front. It's called rotating your stock, so you want to make sure to do that. Uh, I'm going to have a separate review on the Interloop batteries and all their specs, but this was just, I wanted to give you a, a little bit of an insight into my philosophy when it comes to batteries. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, me and the, uh, the dog here will uh, catch you guys on the flip side. Isn't that right? Gunny dog. Isn't that right? You want to say goodbye to everybody? <laughs> All right, good dog. All right, so this has been IntelliGear, and um, I appreciate everybody who's uh, subscribed. Thank you. I, I really do appreciate that. Uh, I did just want to ask one, one favor. If you guys like my videos, make sure you click that like button. It, it helps my videos to get out there uh, so more like-minded people can get the information and all these um, video projects that I, I put the work into. So I definitely appreciate it. Uh, another thing is if you liked the video in the past and perhaps forgot to click that like button, go revisit that video and uh, give, give me a thumbs up if you it truly enjoyed it. I definitely appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Until next time, friends, be well.